Welcome to this instructional video showing the basics of VE Configure. VE Configure is a software program for your computer that enables you to program your VE bus product, such as the Victron Energy Phoenix Inverter, Phoenix Charger, MultiPlus, or Quattro. We will use a Multi 12500 in this video. First, we need to download VE Configuration Tools. Go to our website and click on VE Configuration Tools. Save and install the file. Open VE Config. A warning appears. Please read it through and click OK. After this warning, another screen appears. Please read it through and click OK. You now see an overview with different windows with tabs and menus to choose from. First, we will connect our device to the computer. You will need an RJ45 UTP cable and an MK3 or MK2 USB. Make sure the Victron device is on. Insert the USB in your computer. In VE Configure, go to Port Selection, COM Port and select Auto Detect. You will now see Target Found. Once your device is connected with VE Configure, you are able to program the device. Let's go through the different menus. In File, you can save the settings, open a saved configuration, or export or print a configuration made in a VE bus product. Click on Target Show Panel. A Phoenix multi-control panel appears. The virtual panel works in exactly the same way as the real panel. Click on the cross at the top right to close the panel. You can also view the software version in the target menu. Click on Target Show Software Version. Next to the Target option is the Default option. Here you can set all settings to default. In the Options menu, you can check for updates of VE Configure 3. Although every time you start VE Configure, it will check for updates automatically when your computer is connected to the internet. In this menu, you can also change the language of VE Configure. The default is English. Other available languages can be seen if you click on Check Online for Languages. The final menu is the Help function. If you choose Help and click on What is this? a question mark will appear at the mouse pointer. You can now click on something for which you would like an explanation. For example, I would like to know what overruled by remote means. I click on it with the question mark. A pop-up window appears with the explanation. This help function works for almost everything in VE Configure 3. In the window on the left, you will see available live information from the connected VE bus device like for example the input and output AC voltage, as well as current and frequency. Now let's have a look at the different tabs within the configuration window on the right. In the first tab, you can choose some general settings, such as system frequency. When a setting is changed from the fault to another setting, the text will become red which means the changed settings have not been uploaded into the VE bus product yet. We'll explain how to upload these changed settings later. The Grid tab enables you to choose your country grid code standard. For each country, the safety protection rules are different. At the Inverter tab, you can make changes related to the inverter. Again, if you don't know what a function means, click on Help what is this? The Charger tab enables you to make changes related to the charger. For example, the battery type. Every type of battery can be charged, based on the specifications from the battery supplier. At the Virtual Switch tab, you can program alarms, pre-alarms, relays, ignore AC input and generate a start-stop. If you have made all necessary changes in the settings and you would like to apply them to the device, select Target in the menu above and Send Settings or the button Send Settings in the lower left corner of the VE Configure screen. The configuration will be sent to the device. It is also possible to save your settings if you want to send the settings to your Victron Sales Manager. 
You can select File, Save Settings. A VSC file will be created, which you can send by email. When you have received settings via a VSC file, you can load them by selecting File, Load Settings. This was a small introduction to VEConfigure. Thank you for watching this video.